Well, hello folks, welcome back to the channel. I am the Custom Prophet, and we're back here with our Tennis Manager 23 playthrough. We are a good few seasons in, and um, Krusty Bun, the international man of mystery, um, after a dodgy period this season, seems to have got back on track, and he is getting to finals, he's getting to... Um, um, getting close, but just not getting those victories. Let's go and have a look. So you saw him get through to the final in the Rolex Masters. He went to the European Open ATP 250 event. Unfortunately, only got through to the semi, the quarterfinals there, um, beating Maxime Merva and losing to second placed uh, Felix Uga Al Siami. Um, it was really tight this game, really, really tight and. Krusty could have taken that. In the end, the Canadian got himself the victory. But he is right back on the next one in an ATP 500 event. Now, he's never won at this level before. He's won at the 250 event. He's got two of those in his history, but he's never won at the 500 level. He's never even been to the final at this level before. So, potentially, we can he can make some history here for himself. This is how he's got where he's got, um, beating Lloyd Harris in the first round um, from South Africa, 6-3, 6-2, easy victory. Dino Prismek, who's also 64th in the world, 7-6-6-3. It was pretty easy up to this point, but then beat uh, Ugo Humbert in the quarters, 7-6-6-3. And he's now got to go up against 35-ranked Hubert uh, Huracax, a player he has been up against before and really struggled with previously so this is going to be a tough one and if he gets through it he's going to be playing Ben Shelton in the final as I say if he gets to the final that will be a little bit of a record for him because he's made it to a um, ATP 1000 event final but never at this level before even if it's a slightly lower level but we're going to see what we can come up with here hopefully we can get crusty um purring at the end of this season and if it continues like this i'm tempted to stay stick around for another year and see what happens so we've played each other once before you can see it was a comfortable victory uh, last year uh, to the polish player 6364 we need better from crusty so we're going to set this up and then we'll get out there right folks here we go really hopeful we can come up with something here uh, up to his emotions, got him up to thrilled, which is great. Always good to get a little bit of an improvement in his mental state from enthusiastic. Um, so he said, you played your best tennis in the last match. I expect the same today. I was hoping to hit that motivation, but didn't quite get it. He is presumptuous in his confidence, which is possibly going to mean that we have a hit, little hit on that. So here is Hurakaz. Are we going to be able to deal with this big serving um, uh, pole? Well, it's 2-2. 30 40 is where we are we've got a first break opportunity not really done anything yet and he's made a massive error into the net and we've got that break we've looked good on our own serve so far <laughs> until now uh three four three down 15 40 up but uh oh and, and a massive error from crusty and so both have made a, a silly error it's back level four all it's it's an interesting one we're at we're at a tie break but there's very, very little in it between the two. Krusty, perhaps, with the slight advantage. But we've seen him struggle at this uh, in these sort of pressure situations um, before. Let's fing fingers crossed that he can put one over on this uh, this Polish player. It's been tight. Krusty took the advantage. He hasn't held on to it, though. Well, it's a good little bit of play. He's got a, a mini break here and a chance here to take it. But can he, can he do it? He does. 7-6 comfortable um, point there and he was he was ahead all the way through that tie break so he has got that first break of serve I think we want more of the same really just need to be a little bit stronger on the uh, on Hurakaz's serve well it's gone all the way to a tie break so close I think perhaps Krusty's yeah just slightly better on this set as well 53% of the of the uh, the points, so he's getting a few more points on Hurikaz's serve. See what he can do. This is uh, very very few highlights, but uh, fingers crossed, Krusty can do what he's do what's needed here and take this in a couple of sets. And he's exactly the same place. Six four. 
Hirakaz with the serve. He's missed the first serve. And he's gone down the centre there. He's going to go with a big forehand. Wow, completely missed that. Completely missed it. And Krusty gets the win. I, I don't know whether he left that. Thought it was going long, but... In, in the end, it was well in, and uh, and, and Krusty goes through two tie breaks, uh, seven six seven six. So he has made a little bit of history into that uh, semi final, which is absolutely fantastic. And we're going to be playing Ben Shelton in the semi final. Perhaps going to have to do a little bit better. Oh, and you can actually see the process of um, selecting players for the ATP Davis Cup finals. Who are we going to pick? Well. I think this three there are very, very clear picks. We've got Krusty, Jack Draper, and Cam Norrie. The question then is, do we go... Well, with Billy Blades is not available. So he, he's not going to be he's not going to be picked. But Jack Pennington jones I think, was a pretty good doubles player. But, so he's 86. And actually, I think that's pretty straightforward. It's whoever this next ranked player is well, I'm not sure where we go with that Mark Saban I think was there last time out I mean I think the we could just give it a go to Felix Gill I mean this uh, we could go way down way down the list here get Danny Evans in there <laughs> For some, uh, for make some experience, but Mark Saban, youngster, 176. I mean, he's certainly up, upcoming. I wonder whether that's the pick, an upcoming player, someone young and needing that experience, rather than the other way around. Let's let's go with that. That's the team we're going with. So here is our final. We're just going to have a quick look in the academy before we get there. Uh, and you can see what's what's going on there. This is the upgrade that we have currently got on the uh, on the cards. We're keeping a bit of money in the bank account just to sort out any end of season trouble, and then we'll put uh, something in. We paid a huge amount here in the psychology department. I think I mentioned this last time. This will unlock uh, an increase in injury duration reduction bonus so that is going to be big for us i think there's also another training um uh, a training thing that's here as well so all in all it's probably a worthwhile thing to do and it's going to boost our medical center um reputation as well need to think about what we're looking to upgrade next we could do the track um that is a you know, it's, it's, we're going to have to pay for that, but uh, and it'd be seven and a half grand a month that we'll be end up uh, having to pay there. But we do get another training uh, opportunity there, which is good. The swimming pool is another one which might be useful. The long swim training there, I think that's good for uh, stamina. So a few things to think about. Right, we're playing Ben Shelton. We've played him four times. We've uh, five times. We've won once, lost four times. Um, as you can see, we beat him on grass in a semi-final fairly straightforwardly. Um, seven six six four is the one win we've had. But a couple of matches this year um, in Portugal, we took it to three sets. Uh, but in the um, group stage finals. I don't actually remember that one, but in the Davis Cup, uh, he uh, Krusty lost that match. So uh, let's see how how he does here against this uh, this player. Uh, he is an aggressive baseline. I think we just have to keep things much as they are. So I'll sort this out, and then I'll uh, I'll see you for the match. We're going to say this: the ranking doesn't make you win. You all have your chances. We upped his relaxation, but didn't manage to move him above reassured there disappointing so come on let's get a win at this level that'd be a massive massive victory see what crusty has got for us in this final well it's three all but crusty is the first to blink 15 40 a lovely ace there very very nicely done 30 40 and uh, just about got past him there back to juice another advantage here at three all Got a whole court to aim at there. Very nicely done. Looks like it's just 
creaking a little bit, 30, 40. Um, again, on Krusty serve, he got a good few points on in the last game, but has not managed to get a, uh, a break. And that is not what he wants off the top of the racket. And he's 5-4 down here. Needs something out of the bag now. And it is love 40. And uh, Shelton has done a very, very nicely. We're going to have to have a look at the stats. Because at the minute, it looks like Krusty is going out of this um, with a fight, but just not enough of a fight. Only 44% of points won. That's really not good enough. And you can see where the problem is. Well, you can see it's both uh, not winning enough of his service points and not winning enough return points. But quite obviously, that is, there's an issue there. Getting a good number of first serve percentage in. He's very, very good there. Um, doing a good job with his first serve, but not maybe so good with his second serve. And, um, yeah... Need to be a bit better. We're going to try and have a think about what we can potentially do here to improve things. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll just come, I'll sort that out and then I'll come back. Right, we're going to make him just a little bit more aggressive here. We're going to get him going for the winners and see if that can make a difference. That's <sighs> three all. Krusty was 40 15 up here, but he's given away another break point. He's yet to have one himself here, which is a little bit frustrating because it's not too far between these two players at all that's nicely done and he's put it away back to juice yeah it just feels like Krusty's maybe not got enough here to take the win here against Shelton and this is the game this is the sort of game that we want him to be winning and there it is he's given it up 4-3 and we see he's yet to have a break opportunity on Shelton's serve. And that's the big problem. And that's it. And we've got a good number of points. And he's given up. He's 43rd to 40. Love, love 40 down here. And Shelton has just battled him down, really. And, well, there we go. 15-40. Yeah. I, it's hard to know quite how to deal with players like this he's trying his very best to cause trouble here what are you doing there mate <laughs> down the line the whole court was there so yet again well Krusty has made a little bit of um, a little bit of a record for him getting himself to a final at this level for the first time but still not good enough and uh, yeah it's frustrating folks it is frustrating so looking forward now he gets to the uh, the final of the Basel Open and that's going to do some real good things he's going to get 300 points for that he's got the Paris Open up next and the promising finals which he did win last time Looking through it, he is the highest ranked player there. Got some horrible little players in there. The likes of Ngunu, who he, he struggles against. Bugard, Sinner, Max Merver, Blanche. Some real good players. Moise Kiame, all those players that he's been up against in the past. So that's going to be a fun one. Then we've got all the Davis Cup finals, which we're absolutely going to be coming back for. We're playing Argentina there, uh, which i am be interested in. Looking at the team... We well, don't see the teams yet, but yeah, so we'll uh, we'll have a look at that. So we've got a good lot of stuff heading for heading out, um, and we also want to see what, what he's done there in terms of his ranking. Let's just have a quick look to see whether we can get that. Well, Krusty he is up to eleventh now. There's another big big result. Billy Blades is almost back you can see his ranking is dropping slowly he's just not getting on the court now and he wants to leave the academy which is a real shame mark saban i thought <laughs> i was thinking who's mark saban i that's <laughs> that's who mark saban is he's our player <laughs> what's an ass <laughs> so uh, yeah we've, we've put him into the davis cup team but i think it's a good one we'll see how he gets on i think billy's going to be out and i think he'll probably leave so if we do another season we ne will need to replace billy and probably have mark saban as our number two we'll see how he goes with that anyway folks that has been a lot of fun i hope you enjoyed that we'll be coming back 
for another bit of Tennis Manager 23 very, very soon. We've got a bunch of different things that we're going to be looking at. So fingers crossed Krusty can get things done. We want him into that top 10. That is what we're trying to strive to do. We've not quite managed that yet. So that would be an awesome goal to achieve by the end of this season. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.